guys welcome back to my channel study b so here i am after a very long time with the new lesson of science that is animal babies so if you remember we ended at 1.2 that is environment and now we have the new chapter of animal babies in this we are going to learn some new names of the animal babies so just to let you know the animals baby names are not the same as their parents they have the different names so we are going to know the few names of the animal babies and we are going to know that how many babies usually the each animal carries so let's start so here we have words to learn that word words we are going to learn over here are baby half human young so baby is pronounced as baby and the spellings are b a b y baby calf calf is pronounced as a calf the l is silent we are not going to produce the sound of l while pronouncing the calf c a l f calf human h u m a n human young y o u n g young so the four words are baby calf human young that's correct okay so now let's look at the picture this is the picture of the zoo where you can see the different animals and some of the human beings that are like enjoying with them so let's see over here they says look at the little bear cub so where the bears live are known as the cub so the here is the mother that show the baby that there is a little bear cub so we can know that these are the bear so this is the bear and the baby bear okay so now look at the other side of the picture which animal is this can you guess for me elephant that's correct because of the elephant having the long nose and the short tail so this is an elephant and there we have the baby elephant so what is the name of the baby elephant yes so baby elephant is known as calf what is known as calf right so this is an elephant and this is a calf correct so if someone asks you what we call the baby elephant so what is the name of the baby elephant yes it's calf correct and this baby you know the baby the human baby or any other baby you see then human is known as a human being and young young is the when the baby is a bit bigger and but smaller than the adult then we known as the young young is like your childhood age for example you are four years old three years old five years old so you are the young boy or you are the young girl so that's why we known as young so you are a young boy or a young girl so it means you are not a baby anymore but you are a bit bigger than the baby so we call it young that's correct then you see over here here we i think this is a goat and this is a baby goat and the baby goat is known as a kid correct yes the baby goat is known as the kid similarly like the baby of the human being is known as the kid so it's the same for the goat and here you can see one girl drinking uh, like feeding the baby goat a milk yes some of the animals do drink milk like the goat baby goat drink the milk and the, if there is a female goat they are going to produce the milk as well so which animals produce milk and which animals give us egg can you name that i will be waiting for your comments so you name the animals that produce milk and then the animals that give us eggs as well moving on to the next side of the picture here is a man and there is a fish and here's a bucket with the fishes so these are the fishes then we have a seal this animal is known as 
feel okay usually this animal is like this animal can live in land as well and can live in the water as well so it's like the dual nature animal it is it will stay alive without the water like you can see this animal is alive without the water as well and can be alive inside the water so this is known as seal and what is the name of the baby seal yes they are known as bubs what they are known as bubs so this is seal and these are bubs so the baby seal are known as bubs that's correct next here we have chickens so chickens are like you can chickens or ducks i think this is a duck not a chicken so because they are in the water so we say these are the ducks so this is a mother duck and these are the baby ducks so what will we call the baby duck so this is the mother duck these are the baby ducks the baby ducks are known as ducklings the small small baby ducks are known as ducklings over here we have the penguins and these are the baby penguins correct so the baby penguins have like the same name they have the same name so similarly like the most common animals and their baby names are like dog and the dog kid is known as puppy cat and the cat kids are known as kittens that's correct so similarly you know some new names of the animals that is duck and ducklings for elephant we have elephant and calf seal we have bubs goat we have kid so some are the names of the babies of the animals and here let's see the story how many baby animals can you see so how many baby animals we can see so let's count one two three four and the, up there we got one calf and one baby bear so we can see six baby animals that's correct are all the baby animals like their parents no why no because if you see over here the duck the mother duck is white but the baby ducklings are yellow so they are a bit different here if you see the seal and the bubs they have a different color and if here you see the elephant and the calf they also have the different colors so all the animals similar are same like their parents but a bit different there is a small difference that is their color their size and all understand so moving on to the next here we have some more baby animals the polar bear and the baby polar bears and this is the again we have the ducks the big ducks and the small ducks so over here let's read all animals make babies the babies grow up into adults so all animals make babies and the babies grow up into the adults so there is three stages one is baby when you are born then one is your young age when you are not more a baby but you are not an adult also you are a slightly bigger than the baby then you are known as young and then you transform into adults the adults is the big when you are enough big to produce the babies a human mother usually has just one baby at a time so if we talk about the human mother they always have one baby at a time why this is again another story why the human mother has one baby then some animals have lots of babies so usually one animal also has one baby but some animals have a lots of babies which are those animals birds and rabbits can have eight or nine young at a time so birds and rabbits they can have eight to nine young at a time so they can have eight to nine babies at a time in one time which animals birds and rabbits why because they are very small and the baby mother can carry the eight or nine young at a time so here we use the young word because they are a lot in numbers so we will use the word young so the young also means similar like the 
babies. So here is an activity, make a nursery for a baby animal, make a model nursery for a baby, make sure you include food, water and home. So this is not necessary, I will not say you to do this, but instead of this homework, I will ask you to name five animals and their baby names. The animals we haven't discussed aware here, for example, horse, sheep, penguin, then crocodile, then whale or dolphin. Okay, so name any of the five animals with their baby animal's name. So I will see you understand or not. You can use the Google, you can use the books as well, or you can ask your elder sister, brother, or your mother to ask what are the names of baby animals. So I hope you like this video. That's it for today's lesson. So we will meet tomorrow with another lesson. Keep sharing and keep liking and...